Hey there, it's Timo here. How are you? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so today we are going to take a look at Wix ADI. And uh, if you have been watching these YouTube videos that I have recorded, you have probably seen that I uh, recorded a video related to Jim Dolphin some time ago. <clears throat> and I realized that it would be really uh nice to uh also record a video related to wix adi because i think that in many ways uh they are similar similar type of products uh, but of course they are at the same time uh different so in this video we are going to take a look at wix adi and uh this video is like the Tim Do Dolphin video is divided into two parts. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Wix ADI, and then we are, or then you are, uh, able to see the demo how the Wix ADI works in Act. Okay, so Wix ADI, uh, the ADI part stands for Artificial Design Intelligence. And this is probably the first time that I have ever seen any artificial related stuff when it comes to uh, website building. Uh, I, I think that um, now, you know, I do not have any stats to show, but I, I believe that there is a demand for this type of a tool. Um, you know, when you think of it, you may be thinking that's okay well um why do we need to have this kind of a tool in the first place because isn't the whole purpose of having an online website builder uh, uh isn't the whole purpose of of being something very simple and easy to use and why would i still want to have a tool which is even faster and even easier to use uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that um, when you start creating your website, even if you are doing it with uh, online website builders like Wix, you still have plenty of options to choose from and it takes some time to actually... Uh, it takes some time until you have a finished product. Uh, in other words, you have a website which you can then publish. So I, I think that uh, because of this uh, process, Wix ADI is uh, uh, is actually a, a, a much smoother experience. Um, but in general, if we talk about Wix ADI, um, it basically works in a way that you know th there are roughly two parts to this. Um, uh, the first phase is the data gathering phase where uh, Wix ADI asks you different types of questions related to you or to your business and then uh, it eventually creates a unique looking website for you. And I believe that this is pretty much what, what Wix is telling you, that, that they are able to create very unique experience to you. Uh, then of course it's a whole different question when they talk about uh, and like you see on this page, that uh, AI, AI that designs a stunning website for you. So this is of course a very subjective matter. Uh, a website which is stunning for some isn't necessarily stunning for someone else. So you have to remember this. And of course, and like I also mentioned with Jim Do Dolphin, that this is just a starting point. You still have to uh, do some additional configurations after the ADI has created your site and and you have to plan out the content and do you know plenty of other stuff but I, I think that these um, quick online builders if you want to put it like that they at least uh, make one part of, of this web design process you know, easier and faster. So uh, I think that there is a demand for 
uh, this type of a tool. Then if you compare this tool to Tim the Dolphin, there are some differences. Like for instance, you can create different types of sites. With Tim the Dolphin, it's, it's all about creating websites, but with um, Wix ADI, you can create blogs or online stores. And also, I think that what's very interesting is that you can also switch over to Wix Editor from Wix ADI. So you start creating your site with Wix ADI and then you move over to Wix Editor. But in general, you have plenty of design options to choose from. And I think that when you compare these two tools, uh, Wix ADI and Simdo Dolphin together, so I think that in many ways Wix ADI is is more mature product and of course it was released in if I remember correctly in June 2016 whereas Timdo Dolphin was uh, released in October 2017 so there is of course a difference okay so I I think that uh, that's pretty much all I had to say related to theory. Now let's go into a demo where I show you how to create your site with Wix ADI. Okay, so I have already opened a page, uh, my uh, Wix dashboard, and and um, you basically start creating your site by uh, choosing uh, create new site button here. So once you click it, uh, and let me just close this other tab. So it is going to take a little while until your website starts loading. And the first question that Wix asks you is what type of a site you want to create. So let me just choose that I want to have a business site. Uh, sorry. Okay, so this is where the Wix ADI part starts. So you can basically choose the ADI route or the traditional Wix editor route. But in this case, since this is a video related to Wix ADI, I'm going to choose the Start Now button, which is under the Wix ADI, of course. So let me just click Start Now. And then what is going to happen next is that uh, we are going through a preparation phase where uh, some additional data is being uh, collected. So in this first phase, I am uh, going to choose what type of, type of a business uh, or what type of a business website do I want to create? And this is in the in this very example I chose the business consulting firm. So let me just click next. Okay. So uh, the next phase is uh, or the next question is related to what type of a site do I want to build? And this is where you get to choose whether you want to have a blog or build your email list or or take bookings or sell online so I could just you know click any of these buttons here and uh, then uh, a related functionality would be added to my site when Wix ADI starts creating uh, the blog for you or, or the or the website for you sorry so let me just choose all of these and then, then let me choose next and now this is the place where I enter my business name. So let me try that once again. Uh, let me just call my uh, my site like the most business website. Very, very uh, generic name, uh, I guess. Uh, I do not currently have any business, so I will skip this step for now. But you could just enter. Uh, you know your street address to this uh, on this line and then uh, Wix would then suggest uh, any options that come up when when it starts searching businesses uh, from web but let me just skip this 
part for now and then I get to uh, review the site's information that I have or the information that I have entered already uh, there is nothing nothing wrong with this information let me just click next and um, then it's going to take a little while uh, until uh, the ADS starts. I guess this is really one of those things where you would actually expect that uh, you would start with the ADI right from the get-go, meaning that when you chose the Wix ADI option a uh, few steps ago, and this was actually my initial thought that okay, so I'm already creating my site with Wix ADI, but that was obviously just the data gathering phase, and once you have given all the necessary information, so that, that's when you can uh, let the ADI start uh, doing its magic, <laughs> so to speak. So let me just uh, click the start button. And finally, even this is not uh, the final step, but you still need to choose the type of style for your site. Put the style for your site. And uh, once I have done that, so let me just click continue. And now it's eventually creating my site. It's going to take a little while, some preparation work, of course. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll let me just click, click create my website. And now you are going to see a progress bar. And I guess this is really dependent on which types of uh, features you selected, some, some screens. Uh, ago, meaning that that if you have, let's say, only a blog that you want to add to your existing site, so I would I would guess that this progress bar or this phase goes actually a little bit faster. But anyways, uh, even if you have chosen all the options, I think that this process is still very quick. So uh, it is not going to take you that much of your time. And I think that in general, if, if you are building a site with Wix ADI, the whole process, at least one part of the process is going to be much, much, much smoother than if you would start from scratch or, I don't know, hire a designer or do, do the website design the traditional route. So uh, this this tool definitely helps you to get your site published much faster. Okay, so this is the first version of uh, my site that Wix ADI created for me. So, um, you know, like I told you that this is just a starting point. And this is where you actually start configuring your website so that it looks more like you, so to speak. Uh, so there are, of course, plenty of options to choose from. Uh, you can uh, uh, choose these different options here. And uh, actually, let me just show you, uh, because there is this wizard type of uh, uh, configuration where you can actually go through all these different phases. So you can actually uh, change different aspects of your website by uh, choosing any of these options uh, on the right. And uh, you'll just have to go through each of these options when you are designing your site and creating it uh, with Wix ADI. Uh, like mentioned, it's just a starting point, but you will have to do some other configurations until you have finished website that can go live on the web so but there are plenty of other other options to choose from you can choose different designs colors fonts animations uh, designs uh, you can customize section designs and you know edit size sex and content uh, uh, let me just uh, let me just let's take a look at it, this one I mean this is just for an an example because I just want to show you how this works. It's very simple, but uh, I just want to show you for the sake of demonstration. So, first of all, it asks me to select 
uh, a section that I want to edit. So let's say that I want to edit this face, and you, as, as you can see that the background of this particular section, section is, is changing its background, background color. So let me just, I don't know, maybe I want to edit uh, this one. And it takes a while until the editor loads. And then I can, uh, yeah, I can change some basic information, like if I want to change some text. Okay. Just wondering why at the forefront. Let me just actually change this other part here. Yeah, so the text is so big that it, it doesn't fit. So let me just let me just do some other type of editing. So let me just paste some text. Oh, now it shows. I, I don't know. Well, you know, I, I guess this this uh, <laughs> screen is lagging behind a little bit, so that's why uh, it is not showing me the best type of user experience for somehow. I don't know, maybe it, it is because of my internet connection, I don't know. But anyways, I think that you get a hang of it so that you can basically choose any section and then you can edit it the way you want it. And, and uh, for some reason, uh, my computer is maybe a little bit slow or it's because of my internet co connection and sorry for that uh, but anyway I think that you get to point with how to edit your site after the Wix ADI has created your site in the first place but anyway once this section is now edited and it looks the way I, I want it to look so then what Wix, Wix is asking me is then, you know, click, click below. So let me just click below and, and the new uh, content is shown on the screen. So it's, it's nothing fancy really. It, it's very simple and easy, easy to, to uh, use. And uh, then eventually uh, uh, you can uh, do plenty of other types of editing, like there are different uh, uh, sections or pages that you can add, uh, options related to site design, and I think that they are pretty much the same that, that you have seen on the right. And you can manage your blog, or in this case, since I have a booking and storage options uh, added to this site, so it's, it's actually uh possible to manage those sections of the site and then eventually if, if i want to move this whole design into wix editor which is the traditional type of uh editing tool for wix website so i can actually click here and it basically says that once i move over to wix editor i can't come back from wix editor to wix adi so i have to make a decision but i i think that in, I mean, on a general level, if I had to choose uh, whether I want to design a site with Wix ADI and with, with Wix Editor, I would eventually, even if I started with Wix ADI, I would eventually move over to Wix Editor because it has, you know, uh, lots of other options to choose from when it comes to your design. So I think that uh, that's pretty much the reason why. And it's, it's great to have the Wix editor option uh, available if, if you want to change your mind at some point. Okay, uh, I think that this is pretty much it. Um, uh, I, I do not want to show you anything extra. Uh, I think that because at this point, uh, you know, the only, only things that I would be able to show you is how to edit your page which with with Wix with Wix editor, and that's of course a completely different topic, and I do not want to go there. Uh, but I think that in general, I mean on a general level, uh, Wix ADI is a very refreshing way to create your uh, 
websites and and uh, I'm guessing that this type of uh, uh, site building is is becoming more and more common in the future and of course uh, the Wix ADI is really first type of a site builder which uses artificial intelligence and I I want to believe <laughs> with marketing that this is truly an artificial on the artificial intelligence type of system because uh, <clears throat> it actually creates you a site which is a very unique to you and 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 I, I believe that there is a lot of magic happening on the background so uh, it's it's a very very exciting tool especially for those who want to create a website fast and uh, don't you know just don't want to spend that much time with with the with, with all the configuration and all the setup steps yeah this is pretty much uh, video related to Wix ADI uh, thanks for watching and uh, I will talk to you soon bye bye